What's going on guys, Anthony here from Double Tap Media, and today we are going to be going over my gun collection. Now, these aren't all of my guns, but these are the guns that I do use actively. Granted, it is Sunday, but it is rainy outside, and I still feel under the weather from this past week, so I decided to stay in, bang out a couple videos, and this is one of them. So, without further ado, let's get into the guns that I use every Sunday that you see on my Instagram that I post, but kind of forgot to do reviews on some of them. So, let's get in the video. Alright guys, so to start the video, we do have my M4s. I only have three as of right now. To start it off, we do have my Troy Industries Echo 1 M4 set up for a DMR setup. We do have a 60 round mid cap, my canted flip up iron sights, and my scope. And we do have a Gemtech mock suppressor. Moving on, we do have my CM16, as you guys can see. Sorry for the shaky camera, with a QD mock suppressor, PTS grip and a Pinty Red Dot. I do have the review for this one. I'll leave that link down below. And last but not least, the M4s, we do have my Lancer Tactical, which has the built-on mock suppressor, in which the barrel does come up to the end. My grip, tack light, kill house red dot on a rail riser, and my Daniels Defense Iron Sights. I do have this also up for review. All the guns that do have reviews, I will leave a link down below. But these are my M4s. Moving on are both of the guns that I already have reviews up. Once again, I'll leave those links down below. But this is my Elite Force HK MP5 SD6, which I do have that link down below, obviously. And we do have my GNG Armament ARP9 with a GNG Armament mock suppressor and a red dot that Kalen gave me that he got off of Hop Up. I do want to say with the MP5 that I did make this rail mount. I did 3D print it and it does have a Pinty red dot on it. And guys, last but not least, this is the big little boy. This is my FN Scar L by Cybergun. As you can see, it does have a... Gemtech mock suppressor, PTS grip, tack light with laser, holographic red dot with a Lancer tactical magnifier. I do love this gun. I haven't done a review on it yet, so I'm going to keep it short, sweet, and to the point. But I do love this gun. I fielded it twice. It's amazing. My only con is that it's heavy, and I wish it was just built a little bit better. But, I mean, for the money and everything like that, what you could get it for, it is an amazing gun. Alright guys, and that about wraps up for the video. I just wanted to make this short, sweet, and to the point because I already did reviews on majority of these guns. Oh, and yep, this is the Vector that I did the review on. I'll leave that link down below. This is Adam's Vector. I still have it in my possession. Adam, I just want you to know that this gun is in safe hands until I give it to you, hopefully soon. But guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. I'll see you guys in the next video or on the field. Peace.